Vinny, I'm here. Where the hell are you? What is this? Tony! Come star. I knew you'd call. Listen, Move, I I'm down get at the port of the dock. We got a big shipment just come in. Get yourself down here. I'm on board the big freighter. I, the I don't know, Vinny. I got stuff to do. Look, I know I've been an asshole to you, Tony. And for that, I'm truly sorry. But from now on, we'll be like partners. Okay? Better than partners. Brothers. So come on. What do you say? It's what Salvatore wants. Okay. For Salvatore. But if you pull any of that daddy bullshit, you're a dead man. So let me tell you, I'm kind of getting those question mark shivers about this whole situation, because can you really trust Vincenzo to have a change of heart? I mean, he's betrayed us in the past and tried to screw us over and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, you also have the Salvatore thing in, in, in terms of what he allegedly said. I mean, I'm a fellow who would prefer to hear it from the horse's mouth, but I guess we'll see what happens. So you get a bit of a creepy atmosphere when you enter this place, and uh, you know, I think that's kind of cool, actually. You know, it's a bit different. You, you, there's a bit of a suspense going on as to what may lie ahead. Um, and I will admit I am a bit scared, but thankfully I have my Taylor Swift waifu pillow and my nighty night. And also Tony has this Colt Python, which is one of those one-shot, one-kill type of weapons. and. You know, whenever I use it, I also have one strand firing from the no-nos. Yeah! I'm gonna cut you up, little man! Die! So this scenario right here reminds me a lot of the scenario that you see in the Grand Theft Auto 3 mission Kingdom Come that you do for King Courtney. And in that mission you have these suicide bombers chasing after you in this matter. And in this mission you have these mafia fellows that are sided with Vincenzo chasing after you with chainsaws. So they're no match for our Colt Python though. And if you actually don't kill them quickly enough then more of them just keep on spawning and spawning. So a bit of speed is required there. Is that dumbass Jim dead yet? Hate to disappoint you, Finny. You son of a bitch! Why can't you just die already? You should've never come back, Tony. I whipped my fingers to the bone for Salvatore, and you just come wandering back to town, and he's all Tony this and Tony that. This is my town, Tony! My town! You ain't taking it away from me! I'm gonna enjoy this. So even though it's not going to be a one-hit kill, uh, because Vincenzo has a bit more health than the average NPC has, well, uh, we still have enough bullets to take down this fiend with our Colt Python. So that is the end of Vincenzo's reign of terror. No longer will we have to deal with him potentially, I guess, backstabbing us and all that, so... Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice that that's been dealt with, but you see, lots of things going on here recently with these missions, uh, in terms of story progression and whatnot, it's all very exciting stuff. But from this point, all we have to do is leave this ship area. And speaking of this area, I like that it's being used. It's like a mini Portland Harbor in a way. And actually, I think Vincenzo in the phone call says that this is Portland Harbor, which it's really more Atlantic Key, but anyways, though, I do like that it's being used because in Grand Theft Auto 3, you only use this area for a hidden package to be collected, so yeah, it's not overly exciting there, but it is a neat little area, but anyways, uh, we have a phone call right here from a good pal of ours. Tony, it's Salvatore. We got big trouble. Get your ass over here pronto. Yeah, you see that? Short and sweet, just like Anna Kendrick or... Alison Brie or Anna Sophia Robb. Ooh. Yeah, but anyways, though, that completes this part. In the next part, we'll be doing the Salvatore mission, which is called Sindaco Sabotage. So, until then, I will see you next time.